Hey, what's up, Jason Kids? Hmm? Yeah. Uh -huh. What? No. No. No, I'm not saying that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. I will say it. Hello, JC Kids. Yo, this lesson is straight Gucci fire. Only salty people don't think Pastor Steven is the goat. Watch me worship. Watch me worship. Watch me worship. Let me praise my Jesus. Watch me worship. Watch me worship. Hey, JC kids. Sorry about that. I don't, I don't think you're salty, but you should probably smash that subscribe button down below. Man, so last week we had that sick story about Peter. He had that awesome vision that basically allowed non-Jewish people to go to heaven one day. It was awesome. This week we have another amazing disciple named Paul. Have you ever heard of Paul? Yeah, that's right. Paul was the guy who was once named Saul. Great job! So Paul got this vision one night that he was supposed to go to a town named Philippi. He really didn't know why he was supposed to go there, but when God told Paul to go, Paul went. He was in Philippi for a few days, and I don't know if he got bored or wanted to do something fresh or what, but... One night, he was like, I'm going to go outside the city gates and pray. I know. While he was outside the gates, he started praying out loud. And this lady, she starts overhearing him. Her name was Lydia, just in case you were wondering. So Lydia overhears Paul talking with God, and something just started stirring up in her chest. And she started to get this feeling that, she really couldn't explain. You know what I mean? So she walks over to Paul and Paul begins to pray with her and introduces her to Jesus through prayer. This was one of the first times in the Bible we see a non-Jewish person getting saved. It was awesome. If you want to know more about getting saved, just ask one of the teachers or maybe put a comment down below. This marked something completely new for the disciples. And we now see that God's message goes everywhere. That music can only mean one thing. It's the big idea. Go ahead and stand up. This is going to be awesome. The big idea is God's message goes everywhere. We now know that just by simply praying out loud that God can use that as an opportunity to help people. Don't you want to be a part of that? Well, on the count of three, let's yell today's big idea. One, two, three. God's message goes everywhere. Great job, everyone. Let's pray somewhere new today. <laughs> 